let's face it, one of the painful aspect of people's soft application is navigation. On top of it, with Fluid, Oracle removed breadcrumbs, making it even more difficult for us. But we don't have to worry. Oracle provided us several tools to quickly navigate, as well as ways to efficiently manage our job. In this episode, we are going to explore those tools. Among those tools, Work Center is an important one. Today, I'm going to show you what exactly is Work Center and how to configure it. My name is Siva Koya, your PeopleSoft guide today. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. I'm sure most of you already know about this. My Favorites is one of the traditional ways to access your favorite pages. In order to access your My Favorites, click on the nav bar, My Favorites. And here right now there are no pages added. We can go ahead and add any page. Pick any random page. In order to add it to My Favorites, click on the menu on the right hand side and click Add to Favorites. Click Add button. Click OK. Let's go ahead again to our my favorites and now we can access this page whenever we want to even though it seems to be easy but over time the list can grow big and become unmanageable on the other hand it is also not very flexible if you click on edit favorites all we can do is delete your favorites or change the display order of your favorite pages apart from those i don't see anything else we can do here I mean, we cannot create additional folders to further organize our favorites. That brings me the next way to navigate in PeopleSoft. As we all know, the usual PeopleSoft navigation is comprised of folders and content references. Content references are nothing but links to our PeopleSoft components. For example, if you want to navigate to voucher entry component, we click on navbar, then accounts payable, vouchers, add update, and then regular entry. That's almost four clicks. Let's take a step back and understand how the navigation we went through was constructed. To show you, I will navigate to people tools, portal, structure and content. Now we can scroll down to see our folders corresponding to our navigation. These are our folders and finally our content reference. Now you know how our PeopleSoft navigation was constructed with folders and content references. The point is the pages we visit often are spread all over the place and they are also buried deep as we saw earlier. That is the reason it takes a very long time to navigate. Navigation Collections is one of the solutions to this problem. Navigation Collections is basically creating our own folder structure and then embedding the hand-picked links to the pages that matter the most to a specific role or a business process. Let's go through one example. Let me navigate to home page. Then I will select Finance and Accounting home page. If we click on GL tile, what you see here is a navigation collection. Here, navigation links are well organized based on the business functionality. No need of any unnecessary clicks. We can quickly navigate between pages pretty smoothly. We can even hide left hand menu by clicking on the slide button here. Let's take a quick look at the design of our navigation collection. I will navigate to People Tools, Portal, Portal Utilities, and then Navigation Collections. I will search for existing navigation collections and select our navigation collection. As you can see here, this is the mini structure and content for general ledger. We can override the existing labels. We can add images, even create new custom folders. Always remember that when we add link using this button, we will be navigating to the original structure and content and selecting the links. I hope you got some high level idea about navigation collections. 
the drawback with navigation collections is we cannot add any call to action items for example a link showing list of journals with exceptions pulling data from people's of queries or any other pending action items that needs your attention that's when work centers will come into picture for now let's go ahead and explore other ways to navigate in people soft with the advent of fluid we can quickly navigate to the pages we visit frequently through tiles and home pages the rectangular boxes that you see here are called tiles for example if you want to navigate to create requisition page all you need to do is click on e procurement tile in order to avoid too much of scrolling we can create a separate home page for each product as you can see here and navigate using the drop down located on the banner the main purpose of tiles is to expose fluid content just like how we defined content reference under traditional structure and content for our classic pages for fluid we have to define a content reference under fluid structure content also keep in mind there are other ways to create tiles using tile wizard based on pivot grid ps query and navigation collections that we saw little earlier now let me show you the fluid structure content i will navigate to our traditional structure and content the very first folder that you see here is fluid structure content if you click on it all our fluid home pages should be defined under this fluid home pages folder and all the content references for our fluid pages should be defined inside fluid pages once we define our content reference here we can add tile for this content reference either from our personalized home page or through our fluid home page definition you might have a question here can i create tile for a classic page of course yes the only requirement is you have to create the content reference here under fluid structure content but point to a classic page that's it guys this concludes tile navigation first and foremost i want to clarify that dashboards are not primarily used for navigational purpose i just brought it up because the name might sound like it is used for navigational purpose dashboards are primarily used for decision making and data analysis Let's quickly explore one dashboard. I will navigate to People Tools, Portal, Dashboard, and Manage Dashboard Pages. Here we can find both Fluid and Classic dashboards. Let's explore General Ledger Dashboard. If I click on it, using this dashboard, I can analyze how much ledger balance is recorded against each General Ledger account. We can even drill down. and see for each specific category now let's understand how this dashboard was generated it was generated based on pagelets if i click on pagelets button and scroll down we can see which pagelets are selected for this dashboard by the way what are these pagelets if we go by definition pagelets are url accessible html document that displays useful people soft content pagelets are also called as small pages think of it as a regular people soft page but with a smaller dimension you will understand better once we go through some examples let's pick a pagelet from our dashboard itself and view the definition in pagelet wizard i will copy our pagelet and navigate to people tools portal pagelet wizard Now I'll search for our pagelet. I will open it. As you can see, pagelets can be created from multiple sources, including navigation collections, and we can preview our pagelet here. Remember that look and feel will be different based on the data source. If we really want, we can add navigation collection to our dashboard. Let me show you how. I will open our previous dashboard. I will click on pagelets. then i will select this custom pagelet that i created based on navigation collection now i will save my dashboard i will again click on our dashboard now i will click on personalize hyperlink 
Then I will select navigation collection that we just added. Once we save it, now we can see navigation collection within our dashboard. That's about dashboard guys. I would say work center is a enhanced version of navigation collection and the most efficient way of navigation. Oracle delivered a work center for each module. We have work center for AP, we have work center for purchasing, GL and so on. Let's take a quick look at GL work center. I will navigate to general ledger, general ledger work center. Just like navigation collections, we have links to different general ledger pages. Along with that, we have crucial data on our fingertips that needs our immediate attention. For example, in our case, you can see the list of journals that are ready to be posted, edited, deleted, as well as you can see the journal exceptions. The beauty is you can take action by sitting right within work center. For example, I can edit all these journals at once by selecting all journals and clicking edit action. In the second tab, we have reports and queries that we run frequently. All in all, we can design our work centers to be one-stop shop for all our job activities. Now, let me show you the underlying framework of this work center. I'll click on settings wheel and then configure. Here you can see our work center framework. This work center is comprised of pagelet groups and pagelet. If you are curious to know how they designed these pagelets, they created these pagelets just like any other people's soft page and configured the page to be used as a pagelet. Let me show you. I have navigated to our traditional structure and content, portal objects, then pagelets, then selected the folder common work center pagelets. These are the four content references for the pagelets that are used in our work center. After clicking edit, you can see the PeopleSoft component name. Notice that the usage type is pagelet. This is just for your information. Now I'll show you how to make changes to our work center. To add links or make any changes to our work center, I will navigate to Enterprise Components, Work Center Dashboards, then Configure Pagelets. I will search for our work center. I will select our work center. These are the four sections of our work center. For the sake of this demonstration, I will create a new folder and add a content reference link. So I will navigate to Links tab. I will scroll down. Now I will add a new link group. I will name it Commitment Control. Then I will click on Define to add a new hyperlink. I will go ahead and add a link to create budget journal. After that, I will click on Activate Link Settings. If we refresh our work center, now we can see the newly added folder as well as our content reference link. This is how we configure work centers in classic mode. If you are interested to know how to create work centers in fluid mode, I made a separate video for it. I will drop the link in the description below. Since now you are familiar with productive tools like navigation collections, dashboards, tiles and work center, you can design the user interface the way you like by integrating these tools together. Let me show you an example. Take a look at this page. They have enhanced the work center with dashboards, making more information available to the end users on their fingertips. In short, we can leverage these tools and design a great end user experience. That's pretty much about it for today, guys. For more interesting content, don't forget to visit my channel. I look forward for your feedback. Based on it, I refine myself and try to come up with the content that adds value to your skill set. Through this video, if you learn at least one or two new points, I feel all my effort is well worth it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow my videos. Let's stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, signing off. Siva Koya, your PeopleSoft partner.